this moment, there are people among you who are no longer human. Their DNA has been infected by an alien intelligence. They are stronger, more resilient, and they are driven to infect others. Their goal? To turn us into them. They will do it by any means necessary, from broadcasting mysterious signal to tampering with our food supply. We have weapons to stop them, but their numbers are growing. Fortunately, we have a plan, and this is the team that will carry it out. That plan is called Threshold. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. My name is on the account as well. But your husband put a freeze on the transfer last night. If you want to keep your job, you will wire that money. But I'm sorry that you're upset, Mrs. Polchek. I'm just following bank policy. If you would like to speak with a manager, I'd be more than happy. I Did you think I wouldn't find out? Now, who is this guy anyway? It's not like that. That's it. That's all you have to say for yourself? He changed my life. Do you hear what you're saying? I don't even know who you are anymore. You, you barricade yourself in, the, in your studio day and night. Is that what you're doing in there? You're talking to him? He'll change your life, too. You're certifiable. I'm going to stop this right now. You're not going to do anything. What are you doing? Oh. Oh. You bring your homeland security badge? Uh, at this point, I bring them all. I'm sorry. We'll be open in the morning. Hello. I'm Agent Molly Cooper. Agent Sean Calloway, DHS. Can you tell us what happened here? It wasn't a robbery. No, nothing serious. Serious enough to close? One of our tellers had a disagreement with a client. Nothing big enough for Homeland Security to be concerned with. The DHS is interested in any suspicious behavior involving banks, especially here in D.C. Was the teller injured? No, just shaken up. We'd love to talk to them. She punched through the window like, like it wasn't even there. She tried to pull me out. And that's when Harry, the security guard, he came over and she pushed him so hard that he went flying across the lobby. Mrs. Polchek is like a rail. <laughs> was that major adrenaline or what? Could have been. And I told her that I was going to call the cops. And then she grabbed a stupid little dog and she went out to her limo and she, she took off. I want to press charges. That's not my area. This woman assaulted me. I understand you're upset. Oh, I get it. You, you, you feds came down here because she's rich, right? So you just, you're gonna let her walk away scot-free, aren't you? Trust me, it's not the plan. Please excuse me? Yeah, whatever. Our agents are tracking down Christine Polchek, but we may have another situation. What's up? Our data miners picked up an incident on a police scanner. A woman on the corner of 19th and H exploded at a hot dog stand. You're a bad alien reaction or a really bad hot dog. Let's go. Caffrey. Okay. We've got to send Fenway for the mutation. A woman just threw a human head out of an apartment window in Georgetown. Three different women possibly infected. All within a five mile radius. We have an outbreak. Tactical team already has this area secured. If this woman is an alien infectee, we've got to protect them. They're in mid situation. What's your advice? I say we roll with it, insinuate ourselves in the takedown. Okay.
Agent Calloway. This is Agent Cooper, DHS. Now, the woman inside is wanted for questioning in a federal case. What can you tell us? Not much. Name's Libby Drennan. Neighbor called the incident in a half hour ago. He was leaving his house when that came flying out the window. Chopped the poor bastard's head off. Yeah. That's not a clean cut. That's a tear. She just ripped it off his shoulders. What's your plan? We have no indication she's armed. Once all the neighbors have been evacuated, we're going to fire a flashbang to disorient her, then breach the apartment. Tell your men to use caution. She's extremely dangerous. We always use caution, ma'am. Step aside. Step aside. Thank you. Pardon me. Sorry. Whoa, whoa. Stop, 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 stop. You know that woman, sir? It's Doctor. Dr. Martin Wrigley, FBI. She's wanted in connection with an ongoing investigation by my office. What the hell happened to her? Classified. I'll take control of the body. All due respect, Doctor. Our turf, our morgue. After we process the body, we'll hand it back over to you. I checked it. Oh, fine. But you'll need a Hasidic ambulance. Yo, Jerry, hold on a second. Now, we know nothing about this woman. We had no idea she was Jewish. Well, apparently, you didn't see this. The Hebrew character, Chai. Jewish symbol for life. I'll take it from here. Thanks. Come on, pick up. It's me. Are you there? Pick up. Hands up! On the floor! Right now, ma'am! Get down! On the ground! The hell was that? It's a new submission technique. She'll be out for about a half hour. Clear it. Yes, sir. Thanks for your help. But I'm invoking federal jurisdiction. Please have your men clear out of the area. Stand down, gentlemen. Stand down. Callaway, I need you in here. An interesting piece of art. As if we had any doubts. And she replicated the alien glass forest. The woman at the bank, Christine Polchek. Do you have any idea who she is? Should I? The second wife of billionaire oil mogul Ken Polchek. As in one of the president's closest friends. And he's on the short list for Secretary of Energy. She's got millions of dollars at her disposal. We've got to move fast. Infectees all want to spread the infection. How would they do that with money? I don't want to find out. What? Chosen a new national security advisor. We didn't waste any time. Who's our new boss? Ed Whitaker. Former senator from Connecticut? Yeah. I've updated him this morning on threshold, gave him security clearance. Come on. Susan Medrano, 39, litigation attorney, single, lived in Silver Spring. Imploded on the corner of 19th and H in broad daylight. Libby Drennan, 36, mixed media artist, works out of her home in Georgetown. About two hours ago, she removed her husband's head with her bare hands. A walking billboard for bachelorhood. Then we have Christine Polchek, 32, wow. former print ad model from California, lives in Potomac with her billionaire husband. This morning, she punched through a bulletproof window at a bank in Adams Morgan, tacked a teller, and uh, sent a security guard to intensive care. We need to find the common denominator among these three seemingly unrelated women. Our initial digging indicates that these three women haven't crossed paths recently, if ever. Dr. Fenway, I need you to examine Libby and her dead husband. For the record, Susan Medrano, the one who exploded on the street, tested positive for alien mutation. Well, I, I could have told you that just by looking at her. Kavanaugh, search Susan and Libby's home. See if you can find a link. And take Lucas with you. Hack into their computers. You got it. I'm the software genius. But that's why I need you to help JT uh, figure out where Christine's moving her money. Dig into her financials, see where it's going. Good luck. 
Hey, Molly. Can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's up? I saw Christine Polchek in a dream last night. What kind of dream? The glass forest kind. Okay. Uh, not much to it, really. I'd just like to know, uh, why me? You've been exposed to the signal, and infectees use the dreams to communicate. She was reaching out to you. No, oh, she was reaching out, right? Dare I ask what you two were doing? Dancing. And then she tried to strangle me. Did you say anything? No. Let me know if you have any more. Christine Polchek and her husband are loaded. $9,000 wire transfers every other day for the past two weeks. Where to? Uh, to Cayman Brack Bank and Trust. Oh, private bank on the Cayman Islands. Can you hack into the receiving account? Damn, they're using Impervious. What's that? It's a state-of-the-art security software. It's gonna take me a while to crack in. Oh, that's just become your number one priority. She could be funding some kind of alien plot with those transfers. Man, what I would do with that kind of scratch. I know exactly what you'd do. Online gambling. You've racked up a pretty heavy debt on Threshold's dime. Please, I'm not violating any of your holy protocols. I gamble at different websites using different screen names. Rationalization is an addict's best friend. Thanks, Montel. Consider it my therapy bill. Smart call on the Hasidic ambulance. Yeah. For once, the mutation worked in our favor. How's that? Her face was completely deformed. Cops might not have believed my cover story if they'd seen she was Chinese. Has she said anything since she woke up? Not to me. Libby, I saw your art studio. I want to know about the forest you built. She's about as cooperative as the other five infectees downstairs. We'll have to continue getting our information medically. You okay? No. I miss NASA. Located Christine Polchek. She's got a four man security detail. All right, uh, stay close, but don't approach. Let's not attract attention. Roger that. Dr. Caffrey! It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Mr. Whitaker, I was going to arrange to come see you. No, I wanted to come down here anyway, check the place out. Congratulations on your appointment, sir. Yeah, it's bittersweet for me. Andrea Hatton was a close friend. Mine as well. I'm sorry you had to give the order to bring her plane down. She was infected by the alien signal. You did the right thing. So, um, what are you working on now? Uh, an outbreak here in DC. Mm -hmm. Three women, one dead from a mutation gone wrong, one in custody. We're tracking down the third. Well, I'll let you get back to it. You let me know if you need any help. You know, I haven't had a chance to read through the entire plan yet. Once I do, I'll call you with any thoughts. Thoughts? With my background in strategic planning and development, I love rolling up my sleeves and diving into this kind of work. You paged. There's enough left in the broken vial to do Libby's blood work. She's infected. Mm -hmm. It's worse than that. What could be worse? She's pregnant. How far along is Libby's pregnancy? No, according to her HCG levels, between five and seven weeks. Maybe she didn't even know. Possibly. I found something else interesting. The autopsy report on Libby's husband. Was he infected? No. Nor was he the father of her baby. 
How can you know that without running a DNA test on the fetus? He was infertile. According to the autopsy report, he had morphologic evidence of azospermia. In English? No sperm. Most likely caused by mumps as a child. So what, maybe Libby was having an affair, her husband found out, and that's what started their argument this morning. Mm. With my first wife, all it took was me not putting the toilet seat down. What's your status? No change, even when I mention the baby. And there's no way of knowing if the fetus is infected? No, it's too soon. Amnios can be done as early as 15 weeks, and we're still two months out. Say it. If this baby is an alien infectee, terminating the pregnancy and studying the tissue would give us a wealth of information about this species, not to mention save the life of anyone it might kill in the future. Let's discuss this after you're able to get the amnio result. Make sure she's comfortable and has what she needs to stay healthy. Absolutely. <laughs> Is that safe? Yeah, it's naloxone. It's a category B sedative. No harm to the fetus. Well, one thing's for sure. She knows she's pregnant. Question is, with what? Is that the stuff from the exploded woman's apartment? Yeah. Can you get it all back before her parents fly in? Yeah. We've done this a couple of times. Of a lot of medical bills. You find anything on our computer? Nothing out of the ordinary. She did some pro bono work for Greenpeace. Also, for the past nine months, she subscribed to matefinders.org. It's an online dating service. But she canceled a subscription three weeks ago. Well, maybe she found a guy. Yeah, an infected one. I've arranged a meeting for us with Polchak. If Christine is infected, we have to assume he could be too. Which means he'd be able to sense you've been exposed to the signal. Maybe I should go alone. Well, it could also work in our favor. He could tip his hand. JT! Well, it is great to see you. Hey, Ken. <laughs> you too, Ken. You too. This is Dr. Molly Caffrey. She's working with us on a couple of special projects. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dr. Caffrey. You too, sir. So, what can I do for you today? <sighs> this is a bit delicate, Ken. Uh, the president asked us to come talk to you personally. As you know, the IRS monitors suspicious financial transactions, repetitive and consistent withdrawals that fly under the $10,000 radar. Well, what's that got to do with me? Your account was flagged by a daily suspicious activity report. Your wife has been wiring money to an offshore account in $9,000 increments. Are we breaking any laws? No, but it doesn't look good. This account is linked to a classified investigation we're following. It's not smart to poke around in my personal business. The president doesn't want you hurt by this. We know you froze the account. If you like, we can bring Christine in, talk to her. If you have a problem, call my lawyers. We're done here. I had one of our agents take a cigar stub out of his car downstairs. A great DNA. To think in the 50s, we were afraid of little green men. <laughs> okay. Polchuk's DNA came back normal. So why stonewall us? How about good old-fashioned embarrassment? We walked into his office and told him we know his wife is siphoning his money. He probably assumes Christine's having an affair. And what good is a trophy wife if she's cheating on you? So he closes ranks to save face. Any idea on how we apprehend her? If the bank teller presses charges, then even Polchek won't be able to keep Christine from being booked. You can't control what happens in a police station. We can. I've decided to let it go. Um, Mrs. Polchek is an important customer. We just had a disagreement, that's all. I think I may have been a little rude to her. She grabbed your arm and tried to pull you through a window. Look, my lawyer said this is my business. I have to get to work. Whole checks bought themselves out of that fast. Part-time bank teller with a kid and crappy benefits? When Christine hit her, she hit the lottery. 
What's next? Keep tabs on Christine until we find out how these three women are connected. Check this out. Three $9,000 transfers on their past bank statement. That's the same amount Christine Polchek moved. Yeah, and Wired did the same Cayman Island account. It's an invoice from Woodley Park Medical Group. Susan had bills from the same place. Really? Mm-hmm. Let's see if they have a website. Brick wall. Please. I'm just getting started. Right. I've done this before. Here we go. A web address for the clinic's accounting site. Oh, nice. I'm in. What are you doing? Pulling up delivery invoices. Should give us some clues to what they do there. FSH, clomiphene, HMG. What are those? Fertility drugs. Looks like uh, Woodley Park Medical Group is a fertility clinic. That makes sense. Libby's pregnant. Right, and you said Susan was a patient there also. We found our link between the two. The CDC is very concerned about containing this virus before it gets out of hand, Dr. Johnson. How can I help? We need some information on your patient, Libby Drennan. I just saw her last week. Is she okay? Our tests show her virus originated from the sperm we used to inseminate her. <laughs> well, that's not possible. Our donation program follows strict federal guidelines. We've never had a problem with a donor sperm. Until now. You have our full cooperation. Here it is, Brennan Libby. Use donor number 356H4. Pull every sperm vial corresponding to this ID. Don't pout. Here we go, 356H4. Drawn of Susan, inseminated two days ago. Yeah, the woman who imploded. Body rejected the alien mutation. Drennan, Libby, inseminated as well. Dan. What? Christine Polchek also inseminated two and a half weeks ago. They all use the same sample. We just found another secondary means of infection. Sexual transmission. We have to find this donor. I checked today's schedule. We've got a client who's being inseminated by the same donor Libby Drennan used. When's the schedule? Now. They're in room three. Got it. Federal agents, stop the procedure. What the hell's going on? The prelim blood test showed that both doctors tested negative for infection. And the patient? Well, a little freaked out, but also negative. This was going to be her first insemination. I'm sorry this is taking so long. We use a double-coded system to ensure donor anonymity, and I have to backtrack through two databases. Here we go. ID number 356H4 belongs to... Who? Thomas Gregory Sanford. One of our missing crewmen. How did Sanford become a donor here? Uh, he was recruited five years ago when he was a student at Georgetown. He had a pristine medical history, a uh, high motile sperm count, above average IQ, and an outstanding physical profile. He was a very popular donor. I prefer to make my donations in person. <sighs> when did he rejoin the program? Uh, about a month ago, all his genetic disorder tests came back negative, so I put him back into rotation. They were takers right away. Excuse me. So, Sanford donates his sperm, waits for takers. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, we know the infectees use their human expertise to further the alien agenda. But how does he know which women used his sample? Oh, he could have tapped into their phone lines, hacked into their computer system. Okay, so once he knows who they are, he contacts them. Welcomes them into the fold, starts taking donations. He's targeting women with the means to afford fertility treatments. You gotta admit, that's pretty smart. Why didn't the mutated DNA show up when the fertility clinic tested Sanford's sample? Sperm can be tested for millions of things, from Tay Sachs to gonorrhea, but you, you can't test for what you don't know exists. This mutation is a tricky beast. The test I created is the only one that can measure it. Well, we need to figure out a way to alert the medical community. Yeah, without blowing our secret. Exactly. Molly? What's up? Christine Polchek's hosting a charity fundraiser for Give, Give Global. Global. Promoting a more advanced world community. An alien one. JT, you want a date?
Drinking on duty, Molly? Soda water. Dad. Any sign of Christine? Not yet. So? Well, this is the last place I expect to find you. We don't officially know each other, sir. Maybe I could ask this beautiful stranger to dance then. Hmm? Hmm. My pleasure. Any luck rounding up that infectee? We're doing it right now. Are you serious? The vice president's here. I'm aware of that. So, who is it? Our hostess, Christine Polchek. You're telling me that the wife of one of the president's closest friends is an alien? Yes. So what are you gonna do? Wait until she moves to a confined space. Mm -hmm. Stun her. Mm -hmm. Say she slipped and hit her head. There's an ambulance standing by to take her to threshold. All right, you cannot make a scene. Your plan clearly states that all these operations have to be kept covert. I am trusting you, Dr. Caffrey. Thank you. to see so many people giving to a worthy cause. Mrs. Polchak. You look different in person. Let's dance. Ken. Yeah. Well, I hear congratulations, Arnold. Uh, well, congratulations or condolences. <laughs> Why not dance with your husband? He's too busy getting his ass kissed by a bunch of politicians who want his money. Uh, listen. If you got a moment, there's something I'd like to discuss I think your company could help this administration with. Anything to help the president? Can you feel our connection, Sean? We've both changed. I haven't changed. Yes, you have. So have some of your friends. You don't know what you're doing, Mrs. Bolchak. We can help you. <laughs> working on a vaccine that will reverse the infection. You're the one who doesn't know what you're doing. Until this happened, my days were spent shopping, <laughs> going to spas. This is the first time in my life I've had a purpose. And what's that? Saving humanity. See you in your dreams. One more second. My husband, he's so protective of me. Stunning purse, Molly. You sure these figures are right? Based on the bank statements you gave me, yeah. Why? Uh, just checking. So you went to MIT, right? Go Beavers. At Caltech. Hey, somebody had to go to the second grade school. Oh, yeah? Yeah, who kicked your ass in the internet chess competition two out of the last three years? Sorry, I can't help it if we spend all our time with our own nuclear reactor doing real science instead of playing on the web. Touche. Want a coffee? No, what the hell? Uh, make it half calf Ramsey, you want a coffee? Leave me alone. What's your problem? Baylock. <clears throat> he had the nerve to slap my hand about my online gambling. Like, I don't give a pint of blood to this place every week. Uh, maybe he does have a point. Does 
lapping up everything your bosses hand you make it easier? I don't know. Does being a pain in the ass make it any easier? Y yes. Look, uh, this program you wrote to hack into the Cayman Islands account, it could still take months to crack through the security system. No, I found a back door. Where? I opened up an account there, and once I was in the system, I executed a Trojan horse program. Not bad. Hold on. And we're in. Candy from a baby. The name on the receiving account is Alan Weeks, but that's not your real name. Oh, AKA Crewman Sanford, I bet. Ah, uh, they use thumbprints for identification purposes. They compare it with the missing crewman. Yep, a match. Sanford it is. When Kevin, I went to the address that Sanford gave at the clinic and it was already cleaned out. Look, he's emptied out the Cayman account. Over half a million dollars. What is Sanford doing with that money? Probably not online gambling. Are we back to that? Well. She's not in the city, not in the Northeast. There's Christine. Nice move on the dance floor. This morning she boarded her husband's G5. The pilot filed a flight plan to Aspen. Kavanaugh's tracking device proves he was lying. Mm -hmm. Pole checks have a home in Tulum, Mexico. Looks like that's where she's going. Do we think she's pregnant? No. The clinic's record said that Christine was inseminated two and a half weeks ago, but she already scheduled another procedure for next month. Which means she isn't. But she was infected by Sanford sperm. Fenway said all it takes is a tissue tear somewhere and the sperm can contaminate the bloodstream. And now she's fully mutated and on the loose. We can't bigfoot Mexican authorities like we do here. Yeah, but she is out of the limelight. Tulum is remote. We can capture her there without drawing attention. I came across something really unusual. According to the clinic's records, Libby was inseminated three weeks ago. You said the gestational age of the fetus is between five and seven weeks. Okay, well, that didn't really bother me that much. It's not a pinpoint test, but I did an ultrasound while she was out. Organ development's complete. The fetus measures 12.5 centimeters. It's even sucking its thumb. Developments like this occur at 15 weeks. Libby's having an accelerated pregnancy. She could have this baby within the month. This may be the first alien born on Earth. What do you got? Sanford had every withdrawal from his Cayman Islands bank account sent to a mailboxes and more store. We hacked into their files. I hacked into them. Whatever. Anyway, we saw that an hour after every withdrawal, Sanford sent an overnight pouch to Mexico. The pouch always weighed the same. One pound, three ounces. And that tells us what? This is $9,000 in $20 bills. It weighs exactly one pound, three ounces. You are a genius, Lucas. Kiss ass. Let me guess, they're being shipped to Tulum, Mexico. Um, let's see. How'd you know that? That's where we track Christine. I wonder why he sends cash. Tracks less attention. That's why I don't use checks at a poker table. You said Sanford always goes to the same place to send the money. Yeah, over in Southeast DC, next to Eastern Market. Go keep him company. we'd be seeing each other again. You found a tracking device. You transferred it to someone else. She's a dead ringer for me. Why didn't you shoot her? Your diamond was her best friend. 
she wasn't wearing that wedding ring, and my stun shells would have killed another person. So much for you saving humanity. It's over for you guys. Can't you see that? I know someone who can help you. <laughs> I'm fine. Your choice. Go to my friend in town. Tell him I've got a surprise for him. I'll be there in 15 minutes. I don't get it. I send stuff to this address all the time. Why is this coming back? Well, there was no one there to sign for it. You're gonna have to fill this out again. Oh, come on, man. Just use the old one. Dude, I, I don't make the rules. I just work here, you know? New delivery, new form. You know, I, I, I tell you what, I'll, I'll fill it out and uh, you just sign it and you can go. All right. That was awesome. Next time, you get the dangerous job. Hey, I have, I have altered brain waves, all right? You would have sensed me. You're always hiding behind your brain waves. You know what this is? Tech bottle. An Aztec knife used in ceremonial sacrifices. You know your weapons. This particular one was found not too far from here. It dates back to the 14th century. My husband gave it to me as a gift. An acquisition for an acquisition. The Aztec priests would thrust the knife under their victim's ribcage. Then they'd plunge their hand in and pull out the still beating heart. I'm not afraid to die. You have an option. You're just being used, Christine. You'll be electrocuted too, and then you'll be dead. I said fire! Ah! You okay? Take these off. She was right. She knew we wouldn't risk your life and use a stun shell. Now she's dead. Nice shot. Thanks for the tracking device. Thanks for the shooting lessons. She was the right place. Lucas confirmed it's the address on all the pouches Sanford sent. Wow, they got out of here fast. Yeah, Christine was supposed to meet someone. I guess when she didn't show up on time, they took off. They were thorough. They took everything. Maybe not everything. People on the run don't take the garbage. Guys. Nice. One of Sanford's pouches. Bag all the trash and send it back to Threshold. Tie things up. Polchek, wife of oil billionaire Ken Polchek, died in an accidental explosion at the couple's home near Tulum, Mexico. Local officials speculate the cause was a leaky gas pipe that caught fire and killed her while she slept. This is a statement I'm issuing all fertility clinics and medical labs. Notifying them to test sperm for a newly identified genetic marker. Threshold will be notified immediately if any of the labs test positive. Good work, Doctor. There's nothing in your protocols about dealing with a newborn infectee. It's uncharted territory. We don't know how it will develop or if it'll have any non-human needs. Dr. Cameron, uh, we were able to pull a thumbprint off the envelope you found in Mexico. It belongs to Captain Manning, one of only two remaining infected Big Horn crewmen still at large. Manning is a particularly dangerous infectee. He was a Navy SEAL with a background in naval intelligence. There's, there's more, and it gets worse. We sifted through all the trash that the agents bagged in Mexico, and we found a faxed copy of a flight confirmation. 
flew into D.C. this afternoon. He's in our backyard. For what purpose? What's all the money for? Maybe they're funding some alien R&D project. Well, then we're gonna have to work harder and faster on ours, because they're starting to reproduce. <laughs>